Okay, so before we head out on today's trip, we are sitting at 36 miles. All right, so we're gonna do the range test and um, P settings. If you press the power button three times, it brings up your P settings. I've set mine to 110. We're gonna do a speed clock, radar clock, and see how accurate our miles per hour is versus what the radar clock says. All right, we'll be right back. We'll try it. It's at 95. We're gonna take it down to 90. See that? And then we're gonna check it out. See what we got. It's kind of weird. Uh, these people probably think I'm a police officer. Scaring the crap out of people. So I was two miles an hour off at 90, setting 95. Yeah. This guy's turning over here. I'm gonna let him go. All right. Mirrors look good now. No, sir. I know. I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm doing tests for the speedometer on my scooter and with the white helmet. I'm like, I bet you they all think I'm a police officer. 70. I'm not trying to go 70. I'm just, there's some settings. I'm trying to get the speed of the radar to match the speed of my, my tachometer. That's what I'm doing. All right, man. Be careful. We put it down to 90 on the P settings. Here we go. I'm gonna keep it at 30 and see where I'm at with the uh, the sign. It says six. Thirty, right at thirty. So that's dead on right there. So good stuff. Got it ironed out. So that P setting is is good. Eleven inch tire. You need to change your. Okay, today is day two of the range test of the RX-7 scooter. Uh, we rode it in the wind, single motor, dual motor. Uh, we rode all around town yesterday to the beach, over the causeway. Still wasn't able to drain the battery all the way down. We got some miles left on it. We're going to check the tachometer when we're finished. Uh, we're going to see a real world range. Yeah, say that three times forward and backwards. Anyways, yeah, that. We're going to check the range and let you guys know how it comes out. Here we go. Oh man, we got some serious bounce with the camera here. Dual motor first gear. There is a setting in the P settings uh, that I'm gonna be changing for the amount of takeoff. Yeah? I'm gonna go single motor, second gear. Everybody looks. I don't even have my mirrors set up, B.
doing? Get out of the way. Let me set up my mirrors here. Ugh. It's always good to find a ledge to set up your mirrors, put your foot out on. Now I got this camera off to the side of me. I have to watch the cars or they'll hit my camera. Yeah? Don't want that. Okay. I'm trying to go get that Cuban coffee before the store closes. Can we make it before they close? Don't know. How much range do I have left? We need to check the app. few miles left on the scooter. I don't want to get stuck walking. So we, we may be headed back. Let me check my miles here at the park. Here we go. We are at 20% state of charge left. So there you go. 20% left. God, don't you love the smell of gasoline? <laughs> uh, said no one ever. Up with the wheel. I got 20% state of charge. I don't know when the battery gives out. So, 20%. We're at six. We're at 67 miles on the scooter total. So haven't rode it 100 miles yet. Let's go uh, get that milkshake, shall we? Oh man, we're losing battery. It doesn't want to go. Uh-oh, I better take it back. Running out of juice. All right, we're going back. We'll have to conclude this night ride on another time. It doesn't want to take off. Oh shit, battery's running low. Uh, we're at 16% state of charge. So I'm feeling a difference in the acceleration now. It does not want to go. I haven't had it this low. Wow. Everybody's got a high boy scooters. Okay, you can see we're right here at the 70 mile mark on the display so 
subtract what we had at the start, and that's your miles, your range. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I put this scooter, the RX-7, through the, the test. We rode it to the beach, uh, through the wind, single motor, dual motor, uh, at night. I mean, you've seen in last week's video, uh, we were going 63 miles an hour through that tunnel at night. And then uh, oh, I finally ended up getting tired and just take it, putting it in the car and taking it home. So 34 total miles uh, through all of that was pretty extensive uh, use of that battery. So uh, if I had to score this scooter on uh, the range test, I have another scooter, the eMove Cruiser, that also gets over 30 miles in a charge. So it would put it in the same category, but unfortunately to purchase another battery for this scooter is $1,400. I think there is other options on the market that are a little cheaper uh, that can get that range, if not more. So that is a caveat. You can buy another battery, but real, wor real world range test, yeah, that was only 34 miles. So I'm going to give this scooter a score of 8 out of 10 on the simple fact it's so heavy that it drains the battery. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.